Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Han Solo's Landspeeder. This set came out in 2018. It comes with 345 pieces, two minifigures, as well as a Karelian Hound. And it retails for $30 in the United States. With all that said, let's go ahead and get into the review. Okay, as you can see, this is an up-close look at the minifigures inside of the cockpit per se, or inside of the driver and passenger seats of the speeder. I think that they look really good inside the speeder and the proportions of the speeder are really well fitting to the minifigures. I think that their eye line works perfectly for Lego minifigures. Taking a step back, we're going to take a look at the whole speeder itself. This speeder, while it is pretty small, I think it is actually perfect because it's minifigure scale and the proportions and everything look really good and it is also packed full of details and some play features. Flipping it around to this side over here you can see that there is a lot of greebling on the side over here to make up some of that detail. I think it looks really good and overall the shaping of this speeder I think looks really cool and I think LEGO did a really good job capturing the look of this speeder from the film. Okay now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the play features. So what you can do here is easily remove this hood piece because it is only secured on with these two studs here. And so what you do is take that off and it reveals a wrench as well as the blasters for the two minifigures. And then you're able to go ahead and access the engine. You're actually also able to pull the engine out because it's sitting on this one jumper. So what you can do is have your engine over here. Han Solo can come out and use the wrench to go ahead and fix whatever's broken on the engine. Because, as you guys know, Han is usually fixing something because his uh, vehicles aren't exactly, let's say, the greatest. They are generally kind of junk, to be honest. But uh, he stole this one, so it's not really his fault. But he can go ahead and work on it over here. This little green piece over here, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I think it looks neat inside there. And I think that... Overall, LEGO did a really good job designing the inside of the hood of the speeder, otherwise known as the engine slash storage area, because I think that while you don't see it in the film, it adds for some really cool detail and some fun play features. Other than that, the only other play feature is that this is actually, there go the blasters, this is actually on wheels, so you're able to go ahead and roll it on a smooth surface fairly easily and it has a little bit of traction. That's gonna do it for the play features and now we'll take a closer look at the minifigures. Okay, first we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Han Solo. This is the first version of Han Solo that we get in the movie. So you can see he's in his Corellia gear, he's a little bit torn up. I'm not sure what's going on on the legs there but it looks like a little bit of paint spatter or mud or something like that. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on but in addition to that, you can see he's got his driving gloves on. I think that this color of hands is pretty neat, and it's actually kind of cool that we get his official driving gloves in Lego form because you only see them two times in in all of Star Wars. And one time is in Solo, and the other time is in Episode Four: A New Hope, where you see him taking them off as they are on the Millennium Falcon. Going around to the back of the figure, you can see that he's got some back printing and the new hair piece here looks really good on this figure. I think that it works really well. Obviously, they made it custom for Han Solo, so it looks really good. He's also got a second face. You can see here that he's got his mad face and then he has his signature grin on the back over there. Next up, we have Kira. Kira is a really cool looking minifigure because she has a torso that is molded in that silvery metalish color and I think it looks really good. The printing is also really good to show her jacket and then her undershirt and it's like a skirt that goes down onto her legs so it's got really good leg printing and I think it looks really good overall. She also has that mud spattered on her and I think that detail is really neat. She has a custom hair piece. I think it looks really good. Her back printing is good enough. I think it's pretty cool that they put the collar on the back of the hood, the little fur. Kira also has a second face. She has her stern face and then her happy face. So there's the two faces for Kira, and she also comes with a blaster. Last up here, we have the Corellian Hound. I think this is a really neat looking little figure. I think that the face printing is pretty cool looking. It's pretty menacing, and it is accurate to the film. 
close enough at least. They basically in the movie look like really, really bulky bulldogs. So I think that Lego did a good enough job showing exactly how they look in the film. And I think that it's cool that they included this figure. Alright, that's going to do it for my review of the Han Solo Landspeeder set. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel to see more. Like I always say, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be back very soon with more uploads.